Okay, where are all my weight loss resistant people? Put it in the comments because I know there's millions of you out there that are trying the principles I'm teaching and you're still getting stuck. So what I wanna do is I wanna walk through seven absolute weight loss musts and they're built off of first, my own weight loss journey. We're gonna talk about that, I wanna share that. And in my weight loss journey, I think you're gonna see a lot of mistakes you might be currently making that will help you understand what it takes for your body to let go of the weight you no longer want. So uh, this is, I'm so excited to do this video because I haven't really talked about my weight loss journey. Okay, so I am just gonna take you, I'm 53. Let's just start off with that part of this conversation. I'm gonna take you back to my 20s because I realized somewhere in my late teens, 18, 19, 20, I was unable to lose weight. I got stuck and from my 20s and in my 30s and then into my 40s, I tried so many different weight loss strategies until I came up with what I know works right now, not only currently for me, but what I've been writing about in all of my books has been all of these tricks to eating and timing and feeding your microbiome and all the things you can do to finally let go of weight because here's what I'll tell you is that you not losing weight is not because you're undisciplined. It's because there's a formula to weight loss and this is what I wanna walk you through. So let's start off with the first three that I did for a very long time in my 20s and I know many of you are doing this. So the first one is I did exercise a bunch and eat whatever you want. So put in the comments if that's you. Did you, are you trying to exercise your way into weight loss? Check this out. Exercise is not the door in to weight loss. I know that's what we've been taught, but one of the big moments that came in the weight loss world was when Jason Fung, kudos to him, in his book, The Obesity Code, showed us that when we exercise more and eat less, we change our set point. And I've done videos on that. And once your set point is changed and you have to eat less calories and move more to lose weight, it becomes very difficult to stay in that path. But what I did for many years was exercise a ton and then started to eat whatever I wanted. That is not a formula to lose weight because the more you exercise, the more cortisol comes in. And when cortisol comes in, your body thinks it's running from a tiger and it will refuse to drop weight. I will tell you that every single time one of my patients would come in and tell me that they were training for a marathon or they were running some long endurance activity, I would just, my heart would sink and I would think, oh God, here we go. Because the long, hard working out raises cholesterol and shuts down fat burning. So that's the first thing I did in, in much of my 20s and 30s. Second thing I did, and this was unique to me, it might not be unique to everybody else, is I was a vegetarian for 10 years. And those were my heaviest years. Because I didn't do vegetarianism right, I actually ate too many carbs. Some of you are doing ed vegetarianism great, and that's not you. For me, I just went too carb centric and I became more insulin resistant. Okay, third thing I did in my 20s and 30s is I did a whole bunch of juice cleanses. I did master cleanse. I did all fruit juice cleanses, vegetable juice cleanses. The problem with juice cleanses is that they raise your blood sugar too much and then you're not able to ever get the blood sugar down enough to metabolically switch into fat burning. And then one trick that absolutely worked for me in my 20s that I really recommend and will be one of my seven musts is I stopped eating after 5 p.m. Whenever it was light out, I made sure my food consumption was when the light was out and when things went dark, when it went dark at night, I would stop eating. So I got in a habit where I would eat my dinner at five and I actually would go work out at seven and I'd come home and I would go for my workout shower and go to sleep. That worked for me in my 20s. I don't currently do that necessarily in my 50s, but the younger we are, the more that working out late at night can really be an added benefit and cutting off your eating earlier can really help. Okay, so that was the 20s. That's what I learned, 20s and 30s. Now in my 40s, as a, for women, as your hormones start to change, specifically estrogen, as estrogen goes down, you become more insulin resistant. So in my 40s, I started noticing that when I went low carb, I could lose weight. So I started off with paleo. And I did a lot of paleo and I was exercising a lot still. And that time I was running lots of, doing lots of cardio, training for long marathons. And what I found in those years was that the longer the workout I did, the more injuries I got, 
And what I found from the paleo lifestyle is I was eating way too much protein, which some of you may be doing. You might be eating too much protein and it's converting into glucose. So I had to find my happy place with protein. Where I, what I did start to see in my 40s work really well was the ketobiotic lifestyle that I talk about so much here in Fast Like a Girl. Ketobiotic is phenomenal for losing weight because you keep that, you keep your blood sugar down, plus you're keeping enough uh, carbs in there to be able to keep serotonin up to keep you happy, but also to be able to eat vegetables to feed your microbiome. And I found fasting. And I found that if I paired a ketobiotic lifestyle with fasting, again, what I write about in Fast Like a Girl, that I finally got my weight to where I wanted it to be and exercise took on a whole nother meaning. I no longer needed to exercise. But as you all know, many of you, is that I then from that point realized I needed to start fasting like a girl and moving in and out of high carb and low carb because I got stuck again with my weight loss efforts, just doing ketobiotic and fasting. I got stuck and I needed to shift and start to time it to my hormones. So in my 50s, I have come to this place where I can look at my hormones, I can see what's working, I can see that estrogen needs mo more cardio, I can see that she does well when I go into longer fast. I'm doing a lot more longer fast. So you postmenopausal women, please, the door into weight loss is these longer fasts. I started minding estrogen a little more and upping some of my good oils. I started looking at cardio a little different and using it as a mental health tool in short bursts, but not as one long enough to, to tank my cortisol all levels. And then progesterone, you all know, I started eating more carbs and believe it or not, for a lot of you, eating more carbs, if you've been fasting a lot, you've been in restriction a lot, you've had a lot of stress, eating more carbs is going to be key. And that's going to help fuel progesterone. And then in the in my 50s, as I moved into these post-menopausal years, I had to really think about cortisol. So I started prioritizing sleep and I started looking at mindset tools and all of that made a huge difference. Okay, I got to interrupt this video because I have a free guide for you so you can master fasting. It's called a beginner's guide to a fasting lifestyle. And all you've got to do is click here and you can jump right in. Here's what I want to tell you, regardless if you're in your 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, man, woman, here are my seven musts that I highly recommend that you do. One, if you're a woman, you want to eat and fast for your hormones. I have talked a lot about it for both, for all my women. I have two books. My menopause reset book is coming out in June. I want you to dive into the teachings there because I can go into that more de in more detail. Men, if you've hung in there long enough, I want you to know that you need to upregulate testosterone. And so the fasting is an incredible tool to get testosterone higher so that you can start to burn more fat. That's really key for both men and women. Okay, second, when you get stuck with your weight loss efforts, you've got to lean into the longer fast. This is incredibly important for my postmenopausal women that are struggling to get that weight off. I hear so much when I'm out speaking, so many of these post of you that are in your postmenopausal years are struggling to drop weight. We gotta leave and lean into the longer fast. Men, I promise you, if you lean into a 36 hour fast pretty regularly, you'll drop weight like this and you'll bring up testosterone. So the second thing, when stuck, you might need to lean into the longer fast. Number three is that you're going to want to increase two foods. When we think of weight loss, we tend to, and fat burning, we tend to think we have to go into deprivation. But I want you to think about two major foods. I want you to think about greens, especially for women, because greens will help us break down estrogen. If we don't break estrogen down, it'll get stored as fat and then you'll be stuck. And then I want you to think about protein. I can tell you as a 53 year old woman, I'm very focused on protein now. So the more protein you bring protein up, the more you build muscle, the more you build muscle, the more insulin receptors you have. So I want you working on muscle building. My next one, which is when you exercise, the key to losing weight with exercise is HIIT training. HIIT training is where you're bringing your heart rate up and down and you're out of, you're getting yourself out of breath so you can make growth hormone and, and strength training where you're building muscle because m the more muscle you have, the more insulin receptors. You will make yourself more insulin sensitive. Okay, number five, this is what I learned in my 20s. 
Stop eating when it's dark. Stop eating at night when it's dark. Stop e eating in the morning when it's dark. Put all your food in the light hours because melatonin's not around. And when men melatonin goes up in the darkness, you become more insulin resistant. Number six, you've got to prioritize sleep. You, you, do you know when you burn the most fat? You think it's when you work out. It's actually when you sleep. Your body is breaking down fat to make ketones to heal the brain so that the brain can detox, the brain can heal while you're sleeping. You are a fat burning machine when you sleep. Please prioritize it. And then number seven, and this is the one that we could go deep in. This is what my next book is on. It is how do we get you to balance the sympathetic and the parasympathetic nervous system? You gotta go in and out of those two nervous systems. If you are constantly under stress, you will not lose weight. You've gotta practice balancing the fight, or, the, the fight or flight nervous system with the rest and digest nervous system. Believe it or not, for some of you, I want you to hear me on this. Eating more carbs, exercising less, stressing less is going to start to move the needle on your weight loss because you've been in too much restriction for too long. So I, I hope that helps. These are the lessons I learned. Um, I'm super happy with my weight now. I love living in this body and I want that for you. If you love that video and you want to dive into more of the information I have on this channel, go to this video. If you're trying to use fasting as a tool for weight loss, Congratulations, it literally is the best tool I have ever seen for weight loss. I think you should start with fasting before you change your food